folks, Wisteria Moon here, and today I am back in Animal Jam. Probably much to the surprise of all of you, considering yesterday I posted somewhat of an ominous video talking about kind of branching away from Animal Jam, but to be perfectly honest, I'm not really sure that a lot of people watched that video all the way through because based on the comments, a lot of people took it as I am quitting Animal Jam. I literally put in the title, I'm not quitting. It's just like I'm posting other videos besides Animal Jam videos on this channel, but it just so happens that I missed a recent Animal Jam update. And so I figured that, well, it's better late than never, you know? I still wanna check out all these sick Animal Jam updates because Animal Jam updates are what I live for, folks, are what I live for. I can't miss it, even though it's Sunday and the updates came out on Thursday. You know what, it's, it's all right, it's fine. We're still going over them, so yes. Long story short, I'm not quitting Animal Jam, okay? So don't freak out, it's not the end of the world. It's just a little bit of a new era for this channel. So I hope you all are fine with that. Anyways, before I hop into this, I just want to encourage you all to stick around till the very end of this video because at the end of this video, as always, I will be announcing a giveaway for all of you to enter in the comments below. And I will also be announcing the winner of the giveaway that I hosted in my last Animal Jam video. So yes, you don't want to miss out on that sick stuff. <laughs> I like how crowded this room suddenly became. Like, oh my goodness. Getting some serious claustrophobia here. Honestly, I really like chilling with all kinds of people on Animal Jam, but the problem is my computer starts overheating. And then that definitely gets picked up by the microphone. So makes my video sound very low quality, even though I'm an incredibly high quality person. Anyway, so in order to read the rest of these updates, I'm going to be heading on over to my den, which is not very glam right now, but that's all right. Maybe I'll glam it up before my next video. So anyways, let's go ahead and click on this little news button. Check out the Jemma journal. So I'm not going to be actually reading all of these pages because I've kind of had this realization that it takes up a lot of time. So I'm mostly going to be giving a little overview of the highlights and then experimenting with some of the new features that have been introduced. So on the first page here, we have Wild Weekend World Oceans Day. And basically, in celebration of World Oceans Day, there are some new ocean-themed den items that are only available for this weekend. Of course, it doesn't say where they're available, so that's uh, that's really nice. I'm gonna have to invest the hard work of finding this on my own, which I don't really feel like doing, but I guess, I guess we'll do it. And then something else intriguing emerged for this update. Apparently, every den item is now completely interchangeable between land dens and ocean dens, which I find to be pretty remarkable. I mean, it's kind of interesting that Animal Jam didn't make this update until now, but I dig it, guys. I totally dig it. So I'm actually going to be putting these two things to the test right now. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and switch to an ocean den because I haven't uh, used one of those in quite a while. I actually think this was really smart on Animal Jam's part because it's probably going to encourage people to start using the ocean dens more often. Oh my goodness, would you look at that sorcery? Oh my, oh my. That is some riveting stuff. Yep. This is actually <laughs> a really huge change, especially for someone like me who's been playing Animal Jam literally since like 2011. So, oh my Oh my gosh. I I don't even have I don't even have words right now. These beta bongo drums can now be placed in an ocean den. This is madness, folks. Madness. Oh, we got some bread. Some bread in the ocean. That's uh that's actually not very appetizing. I, I don't really like the idea of <laughs> bread underwater, but you know, we're gonna go with it anyway. So yeah, as someone who's been playing Animal Jam since 2011, this is actually pretty revolutionary because I'm just not used to being able to put land items in ocean dens. I mean, I think it's pretty cool, but it's just craziness. Also, this art is so good. I don't even know where this came from, but it's really cool. It looks kind of like an avatar in a cat suit. Anyways, yes, I'm really enjoying this feature. Now, let's see if we can find find those ocean dead items they were ominously talking about. Maybe it's in the underwater diamond? I don't know. I don't even know where to go. Let's let's try the underwater diamond shop. Got some claw machines. Apparently they're new, but I didn't think they were. I thought I'd seen them before. Hmm. Ooh, this is actually super exciting because I feel like this would look really cool in a land end. I'm actually going to test that out right now. I know. I'm distracting myself here. Oh yes, I am loving this. That is some sick stuff. Definitely one of my favorite items. Anyways, let's check out a different shop because apparently the new items weren't in there. Uh, nope, that's not it. How about here? Nope. All right, we got one more option to try. Here. Nope, that's done shop. All right, maybe it's in the regular item shop. I guess, guess that could be the case. Okay, yes. It was probably in the regular done item shop the whole time. I don't really know. Well, if this is what they were referring to, that's pretty cool. 
guess I'll get this uh, spy glass, do some, do some stocking. This will be pretty useful for spy work, actually. Pretty excited about this. Gonna do some real investigating. Oh, you know, my correction, guys. Apparently, the whole time, that article was referring to the regular diamond shop, which is literally the last place I checked. But, you know, that's really cool. Um, so I think I'm gonna pick up this tide table. That looks pretty lit. Ooh, got a jellyfish window. That's, uh, it's litty as well. But actually, no, I'm gonna get the seaweed lamp. Heck, yes. We are thriving. And, ooh, we got a tropical storm cloud. I don't know if that's, I guess that's new. Ooh. I like this nature archway. We got some different varieties. How long has this been here? <laughs> I feel like this has been here for a while, actually. I just uh, was not paying attention, as always. Anyways, let's pop those items into Miden. Wow, what a beautiful arrangement. This totally makes sense. <laughs> Don't know why that's just right there in the middle, but I guess we're gonna go with it. This will be my official stocking table. Anyways, let's check out <laughs> the rest of the Jama journal, because it took me long enough to get through the first page. So on this page, we have the emergence of pet dire wolves which makes a lot of sense because of course we had pet saber too so I'm definitely gonna have pet dire wolves i'm definitely gonna want to adopt one of these guys real quick so I'm gonna have to find an empty server over here and bam just gonna click on this little pet button click on the pet dire wolf which of course is being sold for three diamonds because animal jam's greedy no i'm just kidding <laughs> Kidding. Folks, uh, I know a lot of people get triggered by Animal Jam selling things for diamonds, but you know, it's, it's life, guys. It's life. Anyways, I think I'm gonna be going for this naturey kind of look because I kind of got a little spoiler in the Jama journal page that there was some leafy outfit, so I think I'm gonna be sticking with that. I don't know why this pet looks like an old man, but <laughs> it's uh, it's really interesting. Even the girl eyes don't help. It still looks like an angry old man with eyelashes. Oh, can do this little spiky thing. I think I'm gonna go with that little wisp. And we'll go for these ears. It looks like- Oh, oh, now I'm seeing what's up. This isn't an outfit. This is actually its fur. Interesting. I feel like we look like an angry chia pet right now, but I'm kind of digging that. Actually gonna change those eyes real quick. Oh yes. Let's call it spring pup. I feel like that's pretty accurate. And <laughs> there's really nothing too interesting about this adoption certificate except for the favorite food. Pine nuts. I don't know why. <laughs> But that just, that's amazing. Pine nuts, oh man. Alrighty, let's take this little guy over to the pet stop. Uh, I don't even know whether it's a guy or a girl at this point, but you know, we'll just call it a dude. All right, so we got some leaf gauntlets. That works pretty nice. Oh, those those feet though. I think I'm gonna stick with the leaf gauntlets and uh, ooh, put that leaf tail on there. We're very, very leafy people today. And it's a tough choice between these leaf ears and the horns, but I think I'm gonna go with the horns, you know? Those are pretty quality. Ooh, but we've also got that tail arm. Mm, this is tough, guys. This is really tough. I'm having a really hard time. They've actually got a lot of popping items for this dire wolf. But yeah, I guess I'm gonna go with this. I feel like we're looking naturey as heck. Spring pup. I dig it. I dig it. This is very, very satisfying pet. Let's see. Let's see that dance. Oh, wait, actually, that's a play. It's like shouting over there. It's got a cute little dance. I mean, oh, oh, okay. All right. I'm blowing my expectations out of the water there. I thought it was just going to be doing that little back and forth strut, but <laughs> now it's doing a full on flip. I mean, I couldn't flip like that, so I'm pretty impressed. It's got a weak hop game though. Very weak hop game. It's all right, I'm not judging it too badly. So now on the next page, we have the water park and I'm one step ahead of Animal Jam right there because I actually had a water park den in my last video. The water park den is a classic. It's one of my all time favorites. So I'm pretty glad that they're promoting it once again, but I still need to decorate this up because it's pretty bland right now and that's really upsetting. And as far as I can tell, this is just basically an announcement that uh, every weekend this summer, there are going to be some exclusive rare items available in the shops, which is pretty exciting. But you know, problem with this stuff is that it's exclusive for now, but then it never ends up getting rarity because Animal Jam basically ruins the rarity system like a year or two ago when they started bringing out basically every rare item in the game into stores. And they're trying to reestablish the rarity system by making exclusive items, but it's just not working. It's not catching on. No one cares. It takes years for things to become rare. So I don't know why they're trying now, but you know what? That's, that's okay. Only OG jammers will understand. <laughs> understand my pain and struggle. Anyways, moving on to the next page. I've got this princess outfit, which looks pretty horrendous, to be honest. Uh, any princess wearing this, I would highly frown upon. <laughs> I'm so mean. I need to calm down. I need to take a chill pill. Anyways, this princess outfit already came out last year or something like that. I'm pretty sure. So, you know, 
I guess this is a fun feature for those of you all who want to look princessy as heck and missed out on the opportunity when it came last year, but you know, this is nothing new to me. And next we have Battle for the Beacon. Apparently that's back. I never knew that it left, but grad. That's some radness. And then on this page we have World Oceans Day, which is basically just Animal Jam trying their absolute best to revive the ocean lands because, <laughs> as we all know, no one ever hangs out in the oceans. It's really upsetting. A lot of jammers have tried to create ocean-friendly movements across Jama, but has not really caught on, which is quite tragic, but that's all right. Uh, so yeah, Animal Jam is just basically trying to get us all to hang out in the ocean. It's not gonna happen, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll start the trend. Maybe I'll start the trend by chilling in Bahari Bay. I always love this place because it becomes the subject of a lot of Valentine's Day memes, you know, like, will you be my Bahari Bay? Anyways, so I have issues. Uh, on the next page, we have a new exhibit about animals who disguise themselves in the Conservation Museum. Super subterfuge. Look at that disguising action. They're going into sneak stereo mode. They're getting sneaky beaky up in here. So yeah, I think that's pretty fun. I'm not gonna be checking out that exhibit right now because this video has already been long enough, but uh, yeah, great job Animal Jam. That sounds like a very fun exhibit for once. One of the few that I'd actually be interested in seeing. And so then on the next page we have Graham's frame and Yes, this has been a recurring theme across all the updates there. Slowly releasing frames in the theme of all of the alphas, which is pretty cute. But, you know, Graham's not really one of my top alphas, but I actually think this frame is better than the rest of them have been so far. I like these little leafy things and gears coming out. Anyways, moving on to the next page, we have the river's heart. Apparently there is a hard mode for that, which would be tragic for me because I'm not good at adventures or gaming as a whole. So I'm definitely going to be sticking with the normal mode. And then right here, I don't know what the heck this is about. They literally just, I, I don't know. This, this is one of the weirder space fillers I've ever seen. Everyone's seen this Gecko's video, okay? Everyone. Like, if you haven't, then you might as well quit Animal Jam because this is the essence of what Animal Jam is about. I don't have my sound on, but you know, you guys know this video, you know it. And if you don't, then click on the Jama Journal and watch it. I just don't really understand why they put it in here because it's a pretty old video. It's been around since I first started playing and they literally didn't give any context. They just spammed Gecko on the page. Animal Jam thinks they're just so witty and clever, don't they? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I mean, it, it, was, it was pretty quality, pretty quality, but anyways, on here we have a little advertisement. So yes, this is just an advertisement for the Animal Jam box. I do a lot of unboxings of Animal Jam boxes, but I've been kind of lagging on that, slacking. I still have one that I need to open technically, but we'll get to it later. And then on the last page, we have the Covered in Crystals bundle, and that's some pretty cool stuff, but I'm actually going to be reviewing this bundle in a separate video, as I tend to do, because I actually did receive a Covered in Crystals bundle code. And these bundles are a pretty exciting thing for me personally. Basically, you get them whenever you purchase a membership within a certain period of time. I, I think they reset the bundles like every couple months or so. I, I don't really remember how it works, to be honest. But yes, uh, these are some pretty cute items, so I'm definitely going to be doing a little video review of that. But for the time being, it looks like that is all of the updates from last week. Or was it last week? Was, was last Thursday last week? Yeah, I guess Sunday is the start of a new day in America, you know? I am, <laughs> I know my facts, kids. I know my facts. So anyways, as a reward to all of you for sticking through till the very end of this video, it is now time to hop right into the good old giveaways. So first I'm going to be announcing the winner of the long purple rare spiked collar giveaway. As I mentioned earlier, that was for my previous Animal Jam video, which I'll pop up on the screen right now. And all people had to do to enter was comment below their Animal Jam username and their favorite cotton candy combination, as well as leaving a like on the video and subscribing to my channel. So the randomly selected winner who did all of those things was Ghost the Fox one So here they are up on the screen right now. Really digging that look. Now I'm gonna go ahead and attach this long purple rare spiked collar along with a little massage. And there we go. Congrats to you, Ghost the Fox one And now the next giveaway is going to be for this long yellow rare spiked collar and all you guys have to do to enter is one leave a like on this video two subscribe to my channel and three leave a comment below containing your animal jam username and a rating of this dire wolf pet on a scale of one to ten one being ugly as heck would never buy and ten being the height of fabulousness so yeah that is about it for this little animal jam video for now be sure to check into this channel regularly because in my next animal jam video i will be announcing the winner of this giveaway but yes it will be in my next animal jam video not a video on a different game so better not see comments on my other game videos being like hey by the way who won that animal jam giveaway it's like guys come on pay attention get with the program anyways thank you all so much for watching don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video Bye!